Hi there, it's Miracle. And can you guess why I'm standing in front of my fridge? That's right, because tonight I'm going to teach you all about how to cook Chinese food. Actually, that's a lie. It's the beginning of the cozy reading night for Christmas edition, and I have just done preparing my snacks. So, yeah, but before that, I need to talk about my TBRs. I have three books that I'm planning to read tonight. Uh, the first one is The Faster I Walk, The Smaller I Was, which is a novel that I have only one chapter in. And the th second hour, I'm going to be read Kindred, which is the uh, Feminism Orchestra Book Club book pick for uh, uh, November and December together. And the third hour, I think I'm going to read New Town. This is a historical non-fiction talking about the New Town shooting. I have actually just done listening to Michelle Obama's memoir, Becoming, earlier today. And in that memoir, especially when the uh, part where Obama was in the office, she mentioned that how they experienced during the New Town shooting. That makes me want to read this book more. And you can now see that the, all three of these books are on my December TBR and I haven't started them yet. I read a couple of other books. The whole purpose of TBR is that you post it and then you don't read any books from that. This is my snacks for tonight and I think it's a very pretty fruit palette including some apples, some papaya, some blueberries, baby spinach and this small oranges thing. We actually call them oranges when we're learning English instead of calling the real oranges oranges. So now I'm lack of vocabulary to like what this called, but like you know what it is. I actually went to the my favorite grocery store today to try to find the snacks I ate every time, including a bacon jerky, but I couldn't find any of them. The grocery store left me with only healthy choices, so I guess tonight I am going to be healthy. So now I have my bed set up for the cozy reading night and the time now is actually only 5.45 and the cozy reading night starts at 6 but I think I'm going to start early a little bit and reading the the faster I walk the smaller I was first So the first hour is done and I am now a third into the smaller I was the no the faster I walk the smaller I was and this book has a very weird pacing it's talking about a very long lived woman because she is very she lived very long so a lot of people that she know has already passed away and her daily routine now is to go to places without drawing any attention on her and uh, try her best to not interact with the world, to not social with people. And because I think because this is a Norwegian book and the culture of Norway is not as outgoing as the culture in the US. For example, you don't say hi when you like cross each other in the hallway or something. And uh, yeah, this book was interesting, but the pacing is a little bit slow for me right now because I now get up really early, not really early, I now get up early in the morning about 5 or 6 o'clock. So actually now is uh, yeah now it's uh, already 7 o'clock in the evening so it's almost towards my bedtime. So the slower pacing book is not the best choice for me for this time. But luckily we're into the second hour and I am going to read Newtown.
Another update from me, now it's 8 o'clock and I am a little bit into New Town. This one is a very heartbreaking non-fiction. It's, it's a documentary kind of book for the school shooting for New Town. And in the beginning, especially like the very beginning, the author is introduced some families like their activities before the school shooting and what did their kids say before they went to school and what did they do in family time before the tragedy happens and it's very difficult to read because you know the, the what's happening next and you know that all the warm pieces of memories lead to a very sad result not a result, like very sad tragedy. So I am, uh, yeah, I, I feel very, my emotion is very low right now and it's eight o'clock so it's time to feed my cats. Hi guys, as you can see, I'm lying on the bed now because I'm so sleepy. I'm updating this clip with my phone, not even bother to set up my camera because I'm, I am tired. It's not this book's fault. I'm still in the middle of it and it's now half past eight. Um, it's just my routine has been has been switched to a morning person routine. I try to get up at five o'clock each morning and today I think I failed, but I still got up at eight o'clock, not eight, six o'clock in the morning. So it's already my bedtime and my cats are well fed for their first round of dinner. I have two cats in total and one of them have very very weak stomach so she cannot eat a lot in one go we have to separate their dinners into two small meals and in the morning we do the same thing so after this cozy reading night i have to feed them again and then i i think i'll just go straight into bed hi it's exactly nine o'clock now and my reading was struggling strug struggling <laughs> that's a new word that i Created. My reading has been struggled because I am so sleepy, so I read extremely slowly for New Town. And I think that's it for tonight. I end up have to put all my snack away because I was just snacking non-stop. It's really interesting because I don't usually eat while reading, but during co cozy reading night, I feel like this responsibility to keep eating i don't know why so i put them all away and it's time to feed to feed my cats for the second time of their dinner and i can finally go to bed and hopefully tomorrow i can get up at five o'clock in the morning and go to do some exercises oh thanks for watching for this vlog and i hope you had a wonderful cozy reading night if you if you if you do that, if you did, if you did that, and if you haven't, if you, I cannot stop, um, I cannot speak now. So, like, in general, I just wish you have a wonderful evening and uh, a great to the rest of the week. I'll see you in the next bookish video. Happy reading. Bye.